think about, and when you come back in January, or we all come back in January, is if there can be that communication, the Forest Service makes a lot of their decisions based on what they see through a grazing season. And the Fish and Wildlife is looking at what do we have for movement for wolves or any other predator in the area. It's not just wolves. If those two could talk early in the year, most ranchers don't have a problem making some kind of a change to avoid the depredation. Mm -hmm. We don't spend 2.30 in the morning freezing our butts off just to watch those cows go out and get eaten. We're okay moving. Many of us would be willing to move. So if we can just kind of get that communication going between the Forest Service, Fish and Wildlife, I think that would, that would be the first step in preventing any kind of interaction. Um, the other one, I think Joey hit it really well, probable needs to, to be readdressed. There needs to be a different meaning to the word probable. And I'll, I'll dovetail that in to something that Donna said, and that is if we wait for four confirmed, and, and everybody's happy with numbers and percentages, there's a study that shows for every one depredation you find, there's seven you don't. By that time, those wolves have already become habituated. We need to get in there earlier. I'm in there from day one. I've got boys that are riding for me. We're doing everything we can to prevent this. But by God, if it starts happening, let's take a look at it early on, mm -hmm. not later, not after they become habituated and they're used to following those herds of cattle. I don't want to see the wolves decimated, but at the same time, I have 100 years plus of history, and I want to see another 100 more. Thank you. Sir, Scott, 